In this video, we're going to take a look at Generate WP, which is a collection of forms to help you work out the code that you need to accomplish certain goals. First, we're going to click the Select a Tool. You simply select a tool, fill in the form, and generate the code. If we scroll down, here are the tools and generators. And you can see you can make a taxonomy generator, a post type generator, a post status generator, sidebars, menus, toolbars, all kinds of things. Let's click post type generator. And now you can see we have some code here. It's not set up for what we want it to be yet. So the first thing we're going to do is click General and put in our custom post type. So we'll put in BNB underscore rooms. And we can put in if we want child team support or not. I would choose yes, just because it gives us the option in the future. And a text domain. This is optional and should be unique in the whole world. Nobody else should use this. We're going to use B&B &B Rooms and it's pretty unlikely anybody else will use it. So now we hit Update Code. And you can see we're using B&B &B Rooms here now. And then this is our text domain throughout. So now we go to Post Type. The post type key, this is to be used in the code, up to 20 characters, lowercase, no spaces. I'm going to choose BNB &B Rooms again. And now the post name, singular. I'm just going to choose Room. And this is a link to taxonomies. I don't want any taxonomies right now, so I'm going to empty that out. Post type description creates rooms for our bed and breakfast. Name plural. Rooms. And then we can choose hierarchical, yes or no. If it's no, then they cannot be arbitrarily ordered. If it's yes, like pages, then they can be arbitrarily ordered. And when I say arbitrarily, I mean they simply get a number. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, whatever. And there are plugins that let you reorder them with a drag and drop. And I like that. So now I'm going to hit update code again. And now you can see here we have rooms, room, etc. So now we go to labels. Menu name, rooms, admin bar name, room. And now over here where it says items, we basically want to change the word item to room. And these labels appear all over the admin UI. And now you can see down here, all rooms, add new room, etc, etc, etc. Now let's go to options. These are the things that posts can have, and we need to decide which of them we want. We want a title. We want the content, which is the main editor. I don't think we need an excerpt. We don't need an author. We do want a featured image so we can have a photo of this room. We don't need comments, although we could have comments. Let's put in comments so that our bread and breakfast visitors can leave comments about the rooms. We don't need track packs. We always want revisions in case we make a mistake. We don't need custom fields here. We're going to use something else for that. We do want page attributes that allows us to order them. And we don't need post formats. We don't want to be excluded from search. We do want them to be exportable. And we do want an archives page, which lists all of the rooms. So now let's hit Update Code. And now we come down here, and you can see we've changed some of these options. Now let's go to Visibility. 
Do we want to show the post type in the admin UI? Yes, we do, because we're going to work with them. We do want the post type UI in the admin. Do we want to show in the admin sidebar? Yes. Five is right below posts. And then we can choose an icon. If you leave it blank, we get the default tack symbol that WordPress uses. Or we can look up a dash icon name. And we can use any one of these. This one looks like it'll work. We'll call it dash icons admin home. There. We do want to show in the admin bar, which is the bar at the top. And we want to show in navigation menus. So now let's update the code again. And here you can see some of the changes we've made. And now we go to query. We don't really want to mess with this very much. We want the query to be default, post type key. We do want it publicly queryable so that we could write code against it in the future if we wanted to. And we have the option for a custom query variable. And I'm not going to change any of that stuff. We're just going to leave that all the same, just the way it is. We're going to choose a custom permalink. And then we're going to edit the URL slug. So we're at bnb.dev slash I'm going to choose room and then use the URL slug. Yes. Allow pagination. Yes. We probably won't need this for our own bed and breakfast because we're only going to have a few rooms. But if we were at a place that had 30 rooms or something, then you would want pagination. And then whether or not we want an RSS feed for this, I'm going to say no because this content isn't really going to change. So now let's hit update code. And we have some new stuff here with the rewrites. And then we go to capabilities. The base capabilities match these. And the base capability type is pages. And that's going to work great for what we want. So now I hit update code. And now I have everything. This is all the code I need. You can click Save Snippet if you're a registered user. Or you can simply copy and paste this code. So I'm going to copy and paste it into my plugin. And then File, Save. Now I should be able to just reload over here. And here on my left I have rooms. All rooms. And there they are. Now if I click Add New, I have a title, the content, my order, layout settings comes from my theme, and here's my featured image and discussion options. And that's pretty slick. And we could get by with just this. We could make a new room. In fact, I will. Ocean View. I will set a featured image of this cool ocean view and publish. And now if I view post, ah, it didn't work because every time you make a new post type, you have to go save your permalinks. There. So now I have bnb.dev slash room 
slash ocean view. And it even put my featured image at the top. But while we're at it, we should make some extra fields for these. We can make a field for whether or not it is waterside, whether or not this room has room service available, things like that. So in our next videos, we'll take a look at how to add those fields.